Han Goyu's wife, Lee Jiafen, is under siege for comments she made at a policy forum on Monday. Lee spoke out against classroom time for Hokkien, also known as Taiwanese, saying that children could learn mother tongues at home. Her remarks sparked a black backlash with critics saying she lacks respect for Taiwan's cultural and linguistic diversity. They go, I'm already speaking Taiwanese at home, but I still have to learn Taiwanese at school? So we're wasting our resources. Han's wife has come under fire for speaking out against learning mother tongues in school. If it could simply be learned at home, would our country need to go to all this trouble? Please be respectful to all the languages and cultures that exist in Taiwan. The languages you speak at home can be promoted in other ways, like speech contests and plays. Class time in schools is limited. It's our hope that schools can equally emphasize Mandarin and English. This view has absolutely nothing to do with annihilating mother tongues. Han came forth to defend his wife over mother tongue education. But the country controversies didn't end there. If they're not paying back their student loans, it is because they have problems they can't talk about. So how about the government just take one for the team? Even if there are bad debts, it doesn't matter. The government is already wasting hundreds of billions of dollars anyway. Critics accuse Lee of double standards on the issue of student loans. They say that Victoria Academy, a school she founded, requires tuition fees paid in full every month. They say she's asking the government to do something her own school wouldn't do. Every time she comes out, she offends every voter across Taiwan. You can see that she's wielding power behind the scenes. We don't know which one of them is running for president. A scholar blasted Lee for political meddling. Lee is soon to go on a trip to Southeast Asia and the U.S. Whether this will help or hinder her husband is yet to be seen.